In this video, I'll present five tips to help you become more productive at Google Sheets. Let's get started. Tip number one for this week is one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, and that is toggling formula view on and off. If you want to see the formula for a cell, all you have to do is click on that cell and you'll see the formula up there in the formula bar. Once you go into edit mode on a cell, you're going to see the formula there as well. But what if you want to see all the formulas in the sheet at the same time? If you hold down control and press the tick button, which is the button next to the number one on the keyboard, that'll actually toggle you in and out of formula mode. You can see I'm toggling in and out right there. If you want to go and get to there the roundabout way, you would click on the view menu and click on show formulas. And that'll also show all the formulas in the sheet. For tip number two, we'll take a look at a quick way to freeze rows and columns. For this spreadsheet, I have two rows at the very top that I'd like to freeze. To freeze these top two rows, all I have to do is come up to the corner and hold on and drag this down right here to underneath the two rows that I want to freeze. So now as I scroll down through, these top two rows are frozen. I can do the same things with this date column. So I'll go, come up to here and I'll drag this over past the second column here. And as I scroll to the right, that column is locked as well. For tip number three, let's look at creating a table of contents for your spreadsheet. Imagine you have a spreadsheet with a bunch of different sheets. A table of contents would come in handy to quickly open up one of the sheets in your spreadsheet. On my first sheet here, I have created a table of contents sheet and labeled it as such. And in this column, I'm going to put links to different sheets, although you'll have to imagine that I have a whole bunch of sheets when I only have a couple here. In this cell, I'm going to create a link to the test data sheet that I have. First, I will type in the title, which is test data. Once that's there, I will go to the cell and then I will right click and choose insert link. You can also do control K to do the same thing. And I'll choose sheets in this spreadsheet and I'll choose test data. Once that's applied, you'll see this is turned into a link. When I hover over the cell, it'll show the link there. Just move on up and click on that link and it'll take me right to that sheet that I created the link for. And of course, rinse and repeat for all the sheets in your notebook. For tip number four, we'll look at repeating an action. Imagine I'm looking at my spreadsheet here and a few of these rows concern me. So I want to highlight them to come back and look at them later. So I'll highlight, say, this row here. And I'll come up and click on the paint bucket. I'm going to fill it in as red. And I want to do this for multiple rows. So instead of hitting the paint bucket over and over again, I can just pick a different row and hit F4. And I can pick another row and hit F4. And basically that each time is going to repeat that same action. And you can pretty much do this for any one time action that you do. And for tip number five, We'll take a look at making an adjustment to the formula bar. If there's a formula that spans multiple lines, you can come up to the bottom of the formula box and you'll see the arrow up here. And if I drag down, you can actually make the formula box bigger so you can see everything that's in that formula. You can also get rid of the formula box altogether. Click on the view menu and uncheck formula bar. Now the formula bar is gone and you have that much more space in which to do work. Check out the video description for more Google Sheets tips and resources.
and be sure to subscribe because I put a new tip video out every single Monday.